Well, hi, folks. I'm trying something a little different on this ride. I'm going to be giving you the uh, live play-by-play -play voiceover as uh, we go on the ride today. Yeah, I thought I'd give it a try. Something a little different. Better audio quality. I hope it's working and I'm not wasting 36 minutes of time just talking my way through this right now. So, I started out at the usual location. Uh, up near... Uh, near my place, fairly close to my place, but uh, you're not in my front yard for security purposes and shit like that, you know. But I like to head down to the Aviation Parkway, and that's where we are right now. This is, I think, my second ride of the 2022 season. Happy to be taking you out with me this time. We're just heading down the, heading down the pathway, sort of uh, taking a look at how's the melt going this year. Uh, the first little bit here is all nice and clean. I was down here last week, I think, and I've been down this section of the path a couple of times, having a peek. There goes another e-bike right by me there. One of those fat tire guys. But, uh, yeah, I'm heading down to this next little section where you can see if you follow the edge of the path across the road there, you can see those humps of white snow. The snow there, I'm going over to check and see what that looks like right now. And, uh, and see if if the path is passable yet, or if I want to bother getting through. I don't like dragging my scooter here through, uh, through too much water or too much snow. Just, you know, it's electric. So I don't want to fuck around with the bike that too much. Yeah, so not too bad a day out today. I mean, it's above zero, so above freezing, freezing. So any day around the valley that's above freezing now is it's okay by me drops of rain here and there and here and there. Other than that, a little breezy, but uh, real happy to be out on the scooter. Battery survived uh, being shelved for the winter and put on the trickle charger, no problem. I didn't lose any voltage, didn't lose any uh, storage capacity, same amperage hours. Obviously, I can't ride quite as far this year. Uh, you see, we turned. I turned away here, and uh, decided that the, the bike path headed down that rest of the way is still not clear enough, and I don't feel like dragging the scooter through the through the curb and through the through the grass curb because it's all muddy, sludgy shit. Excuse me, I'm uh, rolling up a J while I'm narrating my way through this. So yeah, we're. Uh, I'm avoiding the the shitty section of the path and I'm going to head up a couple of blocks follow the roadway around around the bend and head up a couple blocks check it uh, check it out a little farther up <coughs> look at the various sections and see when I can get back onto the path it's my favorite section of path it's nice and smooth it's a little bit windy uh, there's lots of space it's uh, it's fairly new so like I said it's smooth there aren't there aren't cracks so it's been a good place to learn to ride the scooter, to learn to deal with the speed, and how to deal with the brakes and stuff and junk like that. And uh, yeah, it's it's a nice surround, nice surrounding, especially in the fall. Last fall it was really pretty scooting around over there. This area down here is well. I mean, as you can see, it's it's just suffering from we're just coming out of winter syndrome. Everything looks just like fall. It's all kind of shitty. There's lumps of uh, little, still lumps of ice and snow everywhere. But everything looks shitty. The trees all look shitty. There's nothing green yet. But believe it or not, either, even when the weather looks so total crap like this, everybody in the city right now is just fucking thrilled with the weather any way you slice it. Because no matter what's going on with the weather today, you don't have to shovel it. And that's a big ass bonus. This audio clip that I'm, or voiceover that I'm working on to go with this ride also. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to be recording it in one big, long 32-minute uh, clip so that I don't have to do any further editing. I can just drag and drop it, do the final edit, and do the final create on this video. I don't want to have to put multiple little clips in here to 
time it here and time it there. So when you actually hear the the silent bits where I'm not talking, the record is still still kind of record. I'm still recording. I'm just not talking because yeah, I'll just record the blank air and overlay that. So here I'm heading up. This is one of the spots that I'm that I'll connect up to the bike path that I the aviation parkway path, but. Um, it's still muddy as all hell in there, and I don't want to take the scoop through there. <sighs> Cheers, everybody. Notice the street signs here, America, my American friends. Those are not miles an hour. Those are kilometers an hour. There's another block. I'm just peeking down there, and that one looked to me... If I remember right, that there's no dog path or anything there. I think they did them every every two blocks down here. There's a cut in, uh, a fence cut through, uh, with uh, with a walking path up to the bike path. Getting into a bit of a lower rent district in town here. Kind of the area that I'm. I was looking in before I found the place I'm in now. The only reason it's lower rent, too, is because they're older buildings. I like the older buildings. They've got character. They don't mind radiators. And, uh, they don't mind them. Um, I don't mind wooden framed windows. I don't care. You know, you got radiators in the place. That means the heat's included. And that's awesome. You're just paying for electric. No problem. Here's another walk through on the path, and this one I've decided is uh, is okay. We're going to head on through here. I'll cut to the left to avoid the mud puddle. And zap our way on up to the path, avoiding the first dog of the season. These dogs, they always get so intent, uh, they always want to just chase the scooter. Always want to chase it. So here we go. Managed to get myself back onto the bike path. I'll have to avoid a couple of, couple of puddles here and there and here and there. Some snow farther down the... Uh, down the way, but if I remember right as I'm narrating this, pretty much clear the most of the way down. There's one more section where I'll have to get off and drag it over and do a little 4x4 and to get around some muck, but we'll do that just now. And by the way, the music that you hear in the background is courtesy of OJ McBaggin. It's a custom creation by him. You should check out his YouTube channel for his copyright free music at OJ McBaggin. And this music, by the way, is uh, called Bird Reynolds, and it is used with permission. Feeling much, much, much more at ease this year, cruising around on the scooter. I guess, uh, I guess last year when I finished up the season, I hadn't really, I mean, I, did, I had ridden most of the season with a broken wrist, and half of it was my wrist and the cast. So the rest of the riding season after I got my cast off last year, I was really careful with my wrist because I was getting some pains and some little tweaks and stuff here and there. And uh, then I put the scooter away at the end of the year for three and a half months or something like that, four months. When did I put it away? I put it away, I guess, November last year, the very beginning of November, taking it out um, mid-April or beginning of April this year, so five months. I put it away for about five months. And that would have been more than enough time for my wrist to all come back because I can feel it this year. The ability to haul the scooter around, I've got a lot more confidence on it. A lot more maneuverability. My wrist, my wrist is, you know, mostly back to full strength, but I don't think I'll ever get full strength back. But it makes a big difference hauling the scooter around, taking tighter turns, managing at a higher speed. And yeah. And all of that, of course, will have a detrimental effect on my battery. So I'm not going quite as far. And the fact that, you know, I sat on my all winter and put on the extra pizza pounds. So this year I'll just start stripping them off. It's all good.
They say bears lose weight during hibernation. Well, you know, I, when I hibernate for the winter, I gain a bit of weight. Don't they have to be some conclusion? And the last time I came up this section, up the top of this hill last week, this was all the chipmunks just ripped on by. This was all still covered in ice and snow last week. I couldn't get up this far. <coughs> There'll be a little more mucky stuff down uh, down the ways, but that's pretty much it. All the last year's rides up and down this path, you didn't get to see most of the stuff that you're seeing around here because it's all greened in and you'd, you'd have no idea where this was. Here's a little bit more stuff that I'm not sure about, so I'll probably, I think if I remember right, I get off and walk it through here. Or did I just hit the gas and do it? I just hit the gas. I should get a new pair of knobby tires, but uh, my tires got uh, the better part of 3,000 kilometers on them now. I had one flat last year, but it was it was a tube that developed a little pin prick hole in the tube, not uh, the tire. I didn't have a problem with the tire, so I just put it replace the tube. But this year, I think I'm going to get some new street tires not slicks just street regular regular street uh, all season tire tires for it increase my electro mileage a little bit with the with the more smooth grip rather than the knobbies on the on the pavement also won't wear as fast either I believe I'll get a bit better performance on the pavement too because the tires are a little narrower. Here's this other section. I can get off and choke this stuff up because it's mucky and sloppy. The other thing I don't like about going through this while I'm riding is uh, the wheels will lose traction going through that ice real easily and they'll kick out when, uh, when the cable. It's like a skateboard. If the skateboard kicks out from behind you or underneath you, you're standing vertical on it. If it goes left, you're not going left with it, you're going down. <coughs> Went down on this thing once last week. 20 minutes after I bought it. Broke my wrist. Learned my lesson. Be careful. Here's another section. It's all snowed in and shit, so I'm going to 4x4 four four across the grass here until I get down to the end of this embankment hill, and then just rip on down the hill to connect back to the bike track. I didn't take a video. I think it was yesterday. Yesterday I was down this way, and uh, that's all cleared out. It's all empty. It's all the snow's all gone and stuff. This video was recorded several days ago, and then we had a couple of days of rain, and then it was out yesterday, but I wasn't recording. So. A little bit of slop down here at the bottom. Get off and walk through this kind of crappy stuff here but not as bad going through that than going through uh, you know 50 meters of snow the scoots are just mucky and filthy dirty I gotta I should take some some warm water and soap out clean it up put a little WD-40 on here and there cut some rust down I suppose it's probably gonna get rust it is made in Singapore so wouldn't expect the best rust proofing and stuff and stuff like that. Anymore. And here we are. We've made it out to uh, the um, Aviation Museum area. This is one of my favorite sections to scoot in. Nice and smooth and wide open area as everybody can see it coming. And in the summer, it's nice out here too. Well, it's nice out here today. I'm thinking that uh, somewhere along in the woods up to the right there, you never know, could find uh, could find a place to find a home for one or two of my clones this uh, this spring. Never know. See if I can get a gorilla grow growing on somewhere out there. I'll just stick it right in the ground. Walk away. See what happens. Well, why not? Eh? I've got enough of them. Well, 
lock, lock, lock. I put four to throw one in the ground and just throw a sacrifice to the wind and see what happens. Why not? Yeah, backpack it up and take it out there and uh, another couple of weeks, maybe another month. What are we now? Mid-April? Yeah, end of May. Take it out there for beginning of June, something like that when the greenery starts to come in. I think I know the perfect spot out, out here. Yeah. Let's see if we can get away with uh, get away with one out here. the section of the of the bike path where I've hit my top speed so far 52 kilometers an hour that was last year and I was a few pizzas lighter so I'll give it a shot again this year and see if I can beat my record don't think I was giving it everything I could last year because very careful about my wrist Never seen a jogger with a smile on their face. They always look like they're in pain. Some of the people that you bike you scoot by out in this area too, and they look at you like you're Satan on wheels. I've had people say nasty shit to me out here. Make comments. Well, you're not supposed to be on the path with that thing. Like, yeah, you're fucking right. I time I get home I've got a fucking rooster stripe all the way up from my from my ankles all the way up to the middle of my back it's muddy sandy water can't uh, I gotta get some some rain pants or something like that or I should put the fender back on the front and the rear probably make a big difference wouldn't it yeah bet you that'd make a big difference area right here to come when the when the summer aviation museum biplane tours are running gotten some good footage of the biplane coming in overhead for close landings i think the thing was probably 20 25 feet above my head check out the previous videos on this the previous scooter videos and one of them there's 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 a note in the comments which section to find where the biplane landed What we have over here is um, a private uh, Rockliffe Flying Club, uh, Rockliffe Airport. And this is for private little planes. There's no um, commercial flights out of here. It's a private airport. And on the, at the end of this little road on the right-hand side, you've got Rockliffe Marina and Yacht Club. Lots of money hanging out around this area in the summer weekends. <coughs> Take your <coughs> Take your boat out for a little sail down here. And uh <coughs> excuse me. Take your boat out for a sail from the marina. They got all the floating docks and everything in because another several weeks before uh, you can be guaranteed that there's not gonna be big ice flows coming down the river. And the river's still running pretty high and pretty fast. You know, if you notice this area last year, from many videos to the docks, uh, they stretch out, they go out a fair ways. And, uh, there's a fair bit of clearance between the top of the dock and the water level. I'm just checking things out around here, seeing what's up, how things are going. See all the debris and shit floating by in the water and the speed of the flow still coming by really quick dude up here at the yacht club on the left here left side he must be the owner or something he's got himself a doobie up there and a glass of wine 
sitting up there, just chilling out. So I think that's probably uh, what I'm thinking I'm going to be doing here. Pull up the scoot, find a nice place to chill out for a little bit. I think the weather at this point, too, has warmed up and I've got a nice patch of sun. So uh, checking out the battery, making sure juice is all good. Yeah, turn it all off, get ready, pull the helmet off. And I do believe at this point there's going to be a little break in the video clip. Because now it's time for the pause that refreshes. I do believe I'll do that. Look at that. See, I know this guy real good. Waving it back and forth. We know what you're doing, buddy. We know totally what you're doing. <laughs> Look at the size of that bat. If I remember that, there's four different strains in there. There's a bunch of wax in there. There's some Eef in there. There's a couple of diamonds in the end of that too for a little blast off when you first light it up. Yep. And now I'm just leaving the camera pointing up at the sky because I thought you might like to look at this cloud for a second. Kind of need that. And that's it. We're going to pause for a moment and uh, we'll be right back um, after, after we medicate. All right. that opportunity right now come on and we are done and we're on our way probably gonna head back pretty much the same direction so I might point out a few little sites but you might not hear quite as much quite as much chit chat yammering and Verbal diarrhea all the way back. Who knows? I have to smoke a dupe while I'm doing this, though, because otherwise I'll just forget to keep talking and it'll just be dead air entirely. Now, once the weather gets better, I'll be able to head down the bike path towards my left and just keep on cruising all the way down there, and you can head all the way from the east end of the city to the west end of the city on that straight on that path. Takes you all the way through downtown. Once the summer uh, gets real nice, I will take the scooter out to the far end of the train run, and I will take the, I, I'll do a, maybe I'll do a live stream, and I'll live stream the whole run, all the way back from the west end, all the way down the bike path through under, and underneath Parliament buildings and everything. Take it right back to this point, right here. Come up the hill right here. Is that lower path down along the river runs the end? runs the length of the river throughout the entire city east to west. Yeah, I would even do that as go so far as to uh, get the scooter ready for that event and uh, walk the scooter over to the train without even using the battery. Walk it all the way over, get on the train, walk it all the way out full battery from the west end all the way to the east end. I'd be able to cruise for a good 45 kilometer run nice and easy. Yeah. This little section here on the left where you see these cars parked, I've scooted out by here many times and I've seen funky business going on in some of them cars sometimes. Bow bow wow. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I think that uh that's where uh, husbands and wives might be going to become exes and stuff and junk. We're not just watching the planes, if you know what I mean. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink, sign them all. Turn around, make sure you avoid the bag of poop on the ground. Where do these fucking dog owners get the idea that somebody else should be picking up the shit after your dog? You're going to take your dog out and shit. You're going to have the good, good courtesy to put it in a bag. I mean, one step further and carry that bag with you. Don't just leave it sitting there. I get a kick out of taking a walk through the woods or you're, you're on a path in the woods or something. And you'll find a, tur a bag of dog shit tied up in, on a fucking tree branch. Why? Why would you do that? Seriously. Why not just bring it with you? If you're going to 
take the time to bend over, scoop it up, tie it up, and decide to tie it to a tree, why not just bring it with you and put it in the fucking garbage somewhere? Seriously. <coughs> yammer, 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 bitch, bitch, bitch. If you're still with me and you've still been watching, you're still watching for 25 minutes, thanks a lot. I hope you're enjoying it. So. Why don't you leave me a comment below and let me know what you think of this style of video as opposed to the other one where uh, where I leave the mic on on the camera while I'm out for the ride and you get to listen to me a little bit, mostly just the wind. So let me know what you prefer. Over to the right there, yep, you just got a quick peek of it over there. Was um, That's the Museum of Aviation. There it was again. Always look twice, because you know those fucking car drivers aren't going to be watching out for me. No, they just love the idea of smoking my ass. Puddle. Yeah, I remember that one. It was cold. I felt it go up the back of my leg. Yeah, this is a neat section here. Sometimes people just don't realize, uh, oh, this person's going to cross. Wait a minute, I have a stop sign and they don't, which means I have the right of way. I don't have to yield, I don't have nothing. They do. Here we are. Warp speed's got to hit the gas. I think I'm doing about 42 or 45 right now, just booking it. It's interesting, I think towards the end of this video, when I'm on the road getting it right at the very last minutes, there's, uh, there's a dude in a, tr in, a in a SUV who's on my left-hand side while I'm going up the bridge. And he's watching me, and he's pacing me right at my at my wheel, basically, seeing how fast I'm going. I could see the smile on his face when he went by. Not sure if it's this video, or if it was the other day when I was on my way back, but uh, it was kind of funny. That's the other thing about this year, too, that, as opposed to last year. I guess last year, because of the lack of strength or confidence in my wrist, uh, I didn't feel confident last year doing really deep shoulder checks. So last year, I was much more inclined to actually pull over and stop and, and do my shoulder checks and check behind me before I was going to cross a road or something. This year, uh, I don't seem to really need to do that. I can hit the freaking gas and go, and I can get a nice deep shoulder check behind me and still feel confident on my balance, and I'm still maintaining a straight path and all that stuff. So, uh, yeah, I'm... Um, quite happy about that. What the hell was that little blurb in the video? That's not supposed to be happening. I don't know. Tell you one thing though, I wasted a lot of memory recording this video because I decided to use my little 4K action cam to do it. I'm not using my cell, cell phone. So I left this recording knowing that I'm not going to be recording audio. I decided to record this video in 4K at 30 frames a second. I can't see the benefit of that on my phone here, or on my computer, because I don't have a 4K encoder. And because of which, when I encoded this video, it re-encoded it to 1080p. So, we'll never know what the fucking 4K looks like. Okay? So, there it is. We won't, we're not going to find that. Next time, though, I'm not going to bother wasting the space knowing that I can't encode it at 4K. I'll just leave it at HD. And it'll be faster, because even without the audio, this 38-minute video is a fucking, uh, like an hour without audio to encode. Yeah. Remember that little bit there? I, I've got my... The rear end skidded out on me really good there. Almost uh, took a spill. That bench where you saw a buddy sitting there, just to the right, there's always people sitting there. And I stopped one day, and there's a, one of the houses, one of those two houses to the right has their Wi-Fi open. Wide open, no password. You can just sit there all day and, and, and use their free Wi-Fi, and I think people do. I see bums sitting on that bench all the time on their cell phone using Wi-Fi. No, we're just heading back the way we came. It's interesting, though. I'm noticing different cut-throughs and stuff that you don't really see in the summer as you're whipping by because there's so much greenery. 
to where the different roads are and where the other walking paths are that people use. See, now I'm getting ballsy and I just ripped right on through on the scooter and uh, didn't get off and walk nothing and survived it. You see, these are stupid things that I'm doing now. I'm getting overconfident. Fortunately, I haven't paid again yet. I've broken one wrist. I don't want to bother with two. Even with the extra pizzas that I put on this winter, too. The scooter, the Zero Ten X, just eats these freaking hills. Maintains the speed. Great battery. Nice and comfortable. Yeah. Really, really happy with buying this scooter. Got me around for 3,000 kilometers last summer. Last season. It's going to do even more this season because I'll have an extra two months riding it. I bought it beginning of July last year. Standing over here, looking over at the Harveys, thinking to myself, God damn, the burgers smell. right at this very moment as I'm recording this audio voiceover. It is, I think today is Easter Sunday, I believe. Something like that. I think that's what's going on. Not sure, though. No, I don't think it is. Fuck if I know. It's Easter Sunday today when I'm recording this, and I think it's Easter Sunday. Let me leave me a comment. <laughs> I don't remember. It's not a holiday that I, uh, that I, I, I do. I think it's like the I think it like celebrates the resurrection of uh, some some spirit child or something or other like that. They turned into a zombie or some shit. I don't know. It's like I think you can find it in the fiction section you know, in the bookstore. And then they and then they turned it into a holiday, or so they say. That's that's my understanding. Yeah, that sun is just trying desperately to break on through. But, uh, you know, spring is still spring is still being furtive. I was out for a ride today before I started doing this recording. Still blustery, still cool in the wind. Still pretty moist. There's still lots of snow humps and ice and shit everywhere. <coughs> so, spring is uh, is slow to really really catch on to full speed. And I see these wet spots. I'm still being careful watching the wet spots and trying to be vertical when I hit them, just making sure, because you never know when you're going to encounter that last little tiny bit of covered up black ice and wham! You're eating fucking pavement at 40. That's no fun. shaded sections here where all the pine needles and stuff are falling off the trees. That stuff can still be frozen. And you don't you don't know it unless you slip on it. This stuff right here can have bits of frozen stuff and junk in it. There's still piles of crap on the road and they haven't been down there with a sweeper yet. back down through the section that we came in as we already know full down on the way to Ogilvy Road there's no there's no bike path yet yet down there it's all mucky and shitty still so we we'll head back onto the turf onto the, or onto the pavement back the way we came Surprisingly little traffic down here. Always surprises me. And this was a weekday also. I know I was out there for a weekday. Yeah, 
think I'm going to be ripping by another electric scooter on the left side, but it's one of them sit-down scooter jobs. Not, uh, not the stand-up kick. Yeah, I know how those, those sit-down scooters get so much range on them. They've got freaking, uh, 72 volt 100 amp hour batteries in them they're the size of a car battery okay you got a 49 pound battery in there i gotcha now i know how you've got the freaking range and that's where they're advertising 100 kilometer range on the thing. 100 kilometers at 75 kilometers an hour for a 250 pound person yeah that's that's some decent range you got a 100 kilometer range at 70 kilometers an hour and you keep your riding around to within the city, you're not going to do 70 kilometers. Your 100 kilometer range is probably going to extend to 125, something like that. And that being the case, you don't even need to charge every day anymore. If it's your in-city commuter, you can charge every second day, every third day. If I was only using my scooter here to zip on to work, into work and back, I could charge it like every second day, third day maybe, I'm just putting like 10k a day on it, I don't do that though, I tend to go out and play, well folks, thanks for coming along for the ride, we're just about at the jump off spot here, so if you like uh, this method, Leave me a comment, uh, give me a thumbs up, and subscribe and stuff and junk like that. Right around, everybody. Peace out.